Welcome. Uh, I'm Thijs Logger from Capgemini Academy. I'm here with Emil and Ricardo. They both did uh, different Azure learning uh, paths online with us, and we're here to chat with them about their experience on it. Um, let me start with you, Emil. Um, I heard you started with the DevOps solutions um, on learn learning, and you're almost finished, so good luck yeah. with that. Uh, could you tell a bit more about your role, what you do, and why you took this course? Yeah, uh, so I'm a the, the .NET developer within Capgemini, and uh, I'm looking to expand my knowledge into cloud development, and uh, the AZ204, that's uh, the certification, is exactly what I need for that. So it was really nice to hear that we within Capgemini are organizing these kinds of uh, of certification tracks, even in times of Corona. Okay, awesome. Indeed, definitely now, uh, sometimes we have a bit more time on our hands, it's good to make use of it and uh, learn uh, on the go. Um, uh, could you say a bit more about this course and how it was valuable for you and what you do? Uh, it was it was really valuable. We had, a, uh, we had every morning uh, a check-in where we were uh, discussing. You could ask your questions, uh, see how you were doing and uh, get help or help other people. And it was really nice. Okay. It was less, less learning alone, and more learning together, which yeah. works really well for me. So, and what were, you mentioned a few things that really helped you out in this whole learning process. Are there some other pros that you can mention that really were good in this way of learning? Um, well, it's, it's, there's more pressure to, to actually do something because I can be quite lazy for myself. So good to know. if yeah. you have to check in every day, there's more pressure. So uh, that was really helpful. Yeah. That's more a psychological effect that it has on me. Yeah. And uh, the practical effects is uh, um, you have uh, practice exams. We get the vouchers for the exams themselves. So that's yeah. really, really handy. Um, I'm very curious about you as well, Ricardo, because you did the fundamentals, the AZ900, and did the exam already for the 204, the developing solutions. Um, so can you tell me a bit more about what you do and what your experiences were with these courses? Yeah, I'm an IT consultant working mostly for financial sector companies. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working with some projects specifically to migrate on-prem infrastructures to cloud infrastructures, mostly hosted in Azure, even migrating other uh, cloud service providers to Azure also because they provide strong security features and also additional features to speed up the process to go to production. Okay. Um, I had previous background also in another cloud service providers, but I decided to start this learning path in Azure because it's a huge player in terms of cloud and also they are providing strong features and easy to learn platforms for everyone in the Netherlands and also in the world. I liked a lot the learning process, mm. starting with a set 900 because it's an easy way to start get, uh, taking these most important concepts in terms of cloud, microservices, scalability, availability, among others. Mm -hmm. Huge important concepts to start migrating to the cloud. And I also like the AZ204. It's mm. quite more challenging, but mm. it's also a nice experience to start learning new technologies and learning about the cloud provided by Azure. Uh, it was a pretty good experience because we had the chance to share knowledge between us each mm -hmm. morning and align between ourselves in terms of how good or how fast are we learning this path. And also what kind of things result confusing for any of us. That way, any of us will, will also help to solve any kind of concern, doubt, question, and also explaining how the next process will be, even, even in the exam. I remember in some point, I mentioned that I had to do the development parts a bit faster because I had not good background in .NET technologies. But Emil told me that it's one of the most important topics that will be mm. asked in ASAT 204. Yeah. So I started to taking to being more cautious with that kind of parts and studying it in, in depth. And it was really helpful for the exam. So that kind of, of added value is yeah. sharing knowledge with, with your colleagues. Great, that sounds really helpful. And also uh, when you get stuck, that your colleagues can help you or when the other person gets stuck and you're a bit knowledgeable on that, you can help them. It really enhances the whole learning experiences as a group as well. So that's really nice to hear. Um, so yeah, would you recommend doing this course in this way also to others? 
Yeah, definitely, fully recommend that. It's a good way to, it's a good place to start mm -hmm. learning the most important concepts of, of the cloud, mm -hmm. but also it's a good place to discover new technologies. Mm -hmm. I remember I had no experience in machine learning, in data analytics, because my background is more focused on cloud implementation for DevOps or for application or for custom applications. But in this case, it opened me a door to start exploring new technologies mm -hmm. with really cheap prices and yeah. also creating enterprise-wide solutions that can be leveraged also in our customers in the future. I, I, I recommend it by that. It definitely would be a good experience. Great, that's good to hear. Well, thank you very much, Emil and Ricardo, about sharing about your experiences and encouraging others to do it as well. Uh, this is, these are good times to make use of your own time and learn and develop yourself further in technologies like Microsoft Azure and other interesting platforms. So uh, be sure to check out Capgemini Academy for the online learning uh, where you can get coaches and work together with others and peers uh, to get the best and max out of your learning results. So we hope to see you there. Uh, Emily, of, uh, wish you both uh, a very good day, Emil and Ricardo, and thank you again for sharing your experiences. Thanks, Andre.